what better way to start off the year than with some rom-coms? Hey friends, it's Charity, and I'm going to be sharing with you my January TBR. These are books I'm going to try to read this month. I didn't read at all last year, and this is my attempt to start reading this year. So I'm going to start off slow. I just have six books to share with you guys today. And they're all romantic comedies, so I'm so excited. These are in no particular order, so let's start with Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. So this is like a enemies to lovers I believe it's a YA romance so this follows the story of Liz and Wes and they were childhood neighbors but they never really got along like Wes would always bother her I guess but now it's 10 years later and Wes moved back into town but the only problem is that he became like really close to her current crush and I guess this book is her trying to get close to Wes so that she can get close to her crush so that her and her crush can go to prom together. But in the end, she realizes that she doesn't really mind being in the company of Wes. So it's kind of their story, how they get together, I think. Next three books, we're about to dive into Emily Henry. This is just a warning. First Emily Henry book is People We Meet on Vacation. This follows Poppy and Alex, who are like best friends, but they're also like complete opposites. With them like living in different cities, they decide that every year they're going to spend one week on a trip together but I think something goes wrong one of the years. So they haven't spoken in two years and Poppy decides that she wants to reach out to Alex and I guess either rekindle their friendship or find closure, I'm not sure. Something cool that this book does though is have past and present um, perspectives. But it sounds good. I never hear anything bad about Emily Henry so I'm excited to read this book. Next we have Book Lovers which came out in 2022. I don't know much about this one. It follows Nora and Charlie and they both love books and I believe they keep bumping into each other in a small town but they don't really like each other. So I'm guessing that their interactions turn into something more but I don't know, we'll see. Last Emily Henry book is Beach Read. Now this one is like, I think, I don't know if it's the most popular but I know a lot of people love this book. And the concept of this book sounds really good. It follows August and August? No, Augustus and January. And they both write two different types of book genres. Both of these authors are in a creative slump, so that in order to fix that, they decide to like switch genres. So I guess they take each other through like the creative process of writing these types of genres. Yeah, they're also doing it in neighboring beach houses, so that's pretty cool. Um, it sounds like a fun read. The last couple books were like a beachy type of read and I know it's January so it's technically still winter but I live in Florida so it's not much of a difference. Okay we have last two books that I want to read this month. First is Love in the Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson and I'm not gonna lie I bought this book because look how pretty the cover is. Oh my gosh. So this story follows Phoebe and Sam and their neighbors but the only problem is that Phoebe believes that he might be a serial killer for some reason. I have no idea. Probably because that she's also a true crime junkie. But I guess like maybe he's just a nice guy and she's just not ready to be vulnerable and open. And so I guess it's their relationship. I'll be honest, I haven't heard much about this book. If anything, I can't remember, but it honestly looks like it's going to be a good book because of the beautiful cover, have I not mentioned? Last book on my TBR list is Love and Other Wars by Christina Lauren. This is another book where the cover is just so cute. This one isn't really a rom-com, I don't think. This book is told in past and present. It follows Macy and Elliot, and I believe they were friends, like childhood friends in the past but something happened and they haven't talked for like a decade and so this is them rekindling their friendship. A lot of people love this because it's like friends to lovers and second chance romance so I'm hoping it's gonna be a really heartfelt book but we'll see. I'm excited. I heard a lot of good things so I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed. And that was it for my January TBR guys. I am starting out very slow. I don't want to jump into anything crazy just yet. I am getting out of a year long reading slump. So I also don't know how many books I can even read in a month yet. So we're just testing this out. All these books seem like they're going to be easy reads. So I can't wait. If you guys would like to follow me on my book journey, please subscribe. And since you're already here, maybe drop a like or share a comment or anything like that. And that's it. I will see you guys very soon on my next video. Bye! But, uh, okay. It came out this year, and I. No, it came out 2022. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm gonna.